Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to use and activate Apple CarPlay on a Ford with the Sync 3 system. Now, most modern Fords have the Sync 3 system. This particular vehicle is a Ford Ranger 2018. This can be done all throughout the Ford range from commercial vehicles to normal vehicles. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have a compatible iPhone. For this video, I'll be demonstrating on an iPhone 15 Pro, but anything uh, iPhone which is compatible will do the job. Uh, I believe the Apple website has a list of phones that are compatible for Apple CarPlay. So, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the vehicle or ignition's on, so your Sync 3 system is on. Uh, mine's on the radio screen at the moment. You're gonna get your USB cable for your iPhone. This is just one I got off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below so you can see that uh, what cable I'm using. You're gonna plug it into any of your USB ports. On the Ford Ranger, you have two USB ports here. Um, some of the Ford models, you'll have a USB port there or in the armrest. But for this model particularly, it's right here. So we're gonna plug the USB in. We're gonna get the other end and we're going to plug the phone in. So the phone's plugged in. We're gonna pay attention to this screen now. You're gonna see a new screen's popped up automatically. Apple CarPlay pops up. So you can see here, this is the app menu for Apple CarPlay. This is a touchscreen system. Most of the Sync 3 systems in Ford's are touchscreen. So you can scroll left and right and see what apps you have. All the apps that are on Apple CarPlay here are apps taken from your phone that are compatible for Apple CarPlay. So if you have a compatible app uh, for CarPlay, it's gonna be here. Now these are all Apple apps. Um, this Ford Sync will take you back to the main menu you can click on Apple CarPlay to go back. You have Telegram, I have Udemy. I have all the apps on my phone that are compatible. This is the menu that you can use for music on this side and maps on this side. And down the right here are my default apps for navigation, which is this one, music, which is this one, and messaging, which is this one. So for example, right now it shows Waze as my default app for navigation. If I clicked on Apple Maps, that will automatically update the shortcut to Apple Maps and that will stay there permanently unless I open another app, map app. Same with music. If I open, let's say YouTube Music, it's automatically gonna open up there. Same with messaging. If I open up, let's say messages, that's gonna open up there. So that's how you get through the Apple CarPlay menu. Uh, if you're curious of on how the system communicates with you while you're driving, it's gonna be via Siri. So make sure you have Siri set up, otherwise Apple CarPlay won't work. You're gonna to talk to um, your device via Siri, asking you to call somebody, message somebody, uh, navigate to somewhere, play certain music, you can do all of that through Siri. There's tutorials all over YouTube to show you how Siri works if you're a bit uh, unfamiliar with it, but that should work fine. Now, if you're curious of how the Apple CarPlay settings are on the Sync 3, I'll show you now. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to back to the menu. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna scroll to Apple CarPlay preferences. And it's gonna show you right there. So Apple CarPlay, We've enabled it obviously because it's active and show on connection, meaning the moment you plug in your device, it automatically pops up. Also remember guys, your phone charges when plugged in at the same time. This is a wired connection. If you wanna make it a wireless connection, you can buy a USB dongle and plug it into your USB port for an automatic connection. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can have a look at what a wireless dongle does to make your Apple CarPlay fully wireless. Now, it's a very simple system to use. You can familiarize yourself with it pretty quickly. 
once you have it you're not going to want to have a vehicle or drive a car without it because it's so handy and it has everything you need right in front of you all right guys that was pretty much it if you have any questions please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section down below leave us a like if you enjoyed this video or it was useful and please subscribe to the channel i appreciate your, all your time